no beats today. <laughs> Hello, what's up? Good morning, everybody. My name is Nathan Gray. Today's Tuesday, April 18th, live here in Tulsa, Oklahoma. And you're watching Three Points. First off, let's get right into it. Earlier today, in the northern Philippine mountain province of Nueva Ecija, at least 24 people died after their bus fell into a ravine. The cause of the accident was brake failure that sent the bus over the cliff, falling almost 80 feet, according to local police. The handful of survivors were in critical condition, many of which were children, and were rushed to nearby hospitals. Moving right along. <coughs> Sports fans are psychos. Uh, yesterday in Argentina, 22-year-old soccer fan Emmanuel Balbo died from se severe head trauma after last Saturday's game where he was pushed over the stands by an angry group of fans who thought he was a rival supporter. Balbo fell 16 feet onto the concrete stairs below. He was rushed to a local hospital where he was declared brain dead. He died two days later, and for what? Four suspects have been arrested over the attack. According to studies, more than 40 people have died in soccer-related violence in Argentina alone in just the past three years. And lastly, a bit of good news in the fight for democracy. Yesterday in Seoul, South Korea, recently impeached President Park Geun-hye was indicted by South Korean prosecutors on multiple charges, including bribery, abuse of power, and coercion. Park continues to deny any wrongdoing and is being held at a detention center in Seoul, South Korea. Sound familiar? In America, we just call it politics. That about finishes off the gore for today. Until next time, you've been watching Three Points.